Today is a momentous occasion as we come together for the launch of the PMKBY 4.0 training. I extend a warm welcome to everyone attending this program. The era when academic achievements were seen as the sole path to achieving success in life is long behind us. In today's dynamic world, every skill that one acquires has the potential to pave the way to a successful life, provided that you put in the hard work and excel in it. I also congratulate all the trainees who have grabbed this opportunity and enrolled themselves in various job roles under this. Now, to begin with the program, I call upon Ms. Nunese Nochase, Director YouthNet, for the opening remarks. Launch program of our PMKVY 4.0 programs. There are three, so I would uh, like to acknowledge and welcome the honorable guests in our midst as well. So first of all, uh, we yes, we have to encourage gifting flowers to men as well. <laughs> so yeah, the, on behalf of Vietnam and the whole project, we would like to yeah welcome you with a bouquet. Yes, first would be of uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Anthony Muli, Secretary, Youth Resources and Sports. Yes, Department of Youth Resources and Sports. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Director, uh, Sir Sitio, Department of Youth Resources and Sports. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and uh, we, the, today is the launch program of three PMKBY 4.0 programs. They are mobile phone hardware repair training. So currently we have two batches in YouthNet main office Kohima, and we also have two parallel batches running in YouthNet Dimapur office. Uh, two batches in Kohima, two batches in Dimapur. Also, we have a one batch for drone service technician training. We have one batch in Kohima. And seats are open for the other batches as well because our target is 350 uh, students uh, per trade or sector. Then next week, the team will be traveling to Shamator for the arrangement and launch of Assistant Installation, Computing, and Peripherals Training in Shamator District as well. Uh, so Main objectives of this PMKBY 4.0 training in these three trades where we have mentioned is for computing, uh, mobile repair, and uh, robotics as well, is because we want to give opportunities to people who have graduated, people, young people who are not academically inclined, but they want to build and hone their skills. So skill development is a must in this day and age and with this we are sure that we will be able to address one of the biggest problems in the state of Nagaland that is unemployment issue. I'm sure. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavenly uh... Next we have short speeches from Mr. Philip Patton who is currently undergoing training in mobile phone hardware repair technician and El Toshimari Longumer from the drone service technician batch. You may take your time, one after the other. To stand on behalf of my trainees, the integrations of mobile repair technicians program. On behalf of the trainees, I, I am excited to share the thoughts on the significance of the training and its benefit that will impact in our life as well as in our societies. We, the trainees from Kohiba district, with 37 belts and one female. Very honored to have her in a bit, emphasizing on the training, repair and maintenance of drones, skill depth, soft skills and work ethic, basic health and safety practices, employability skills. Now for the exhortation, I give time to Sri Ketosito Sekose, NCS, Director of Youth Resources and Sports. As such, our department, that is the Department of Youth Resources and Sports, was not into skilling. In Nagaland, skilling is normally done through the uh, Department of uh, Employment, Labor and Skill Development. However, this year, we decided to try our hands at a new thing, that is at skilling. The reason why we have taken up these three threads was very simple. In our experience, we have seen that uh, while going to the shops around in, uh, in and around Kohima or even in Dimapur, 
you will find that uh, there are a lot of non-locals who probably are not even 10 pass and to whom we entrust our 70 80,000 word mobile phones to Rivia. And they are able to do it. These jobs, which actually our own people, our own youth should be able to do. There are, we, we are bringing in, importing people from outside to do the job for us. These apparently are very simple jobs, but we have, we have to import because our people are not taking up. And why our people are not taking up? Probably because the required skill is not imparted to them. In my travels in the country as well as outside the country. A speech from our guest of honor, Sri Anthony Modi, and CS Secretary to the Government of Nagaland with Resources and Sport, Sir Nakai Chetri. All know this is the era of technology. And without the simple knowledge of technology, it is very difficult to survive. I want the trainers, especially the young people here, to take this training very, very seriously. Because it will either make you or break you. In the sense, if you take this training seriously and complete your training and get the certificate, you are at least self-assured that you are able to do something. You are able to survive. Because things are looking very different now. Nagaland is not the Nagaland I knew when I was young, when I was at your age. The Nagaland of that time and the Nagaland of now has changed, completely changed. I grew up in Kohima. The, the city of Kohima has drastically changed. Thank you, sir, <clears throat> for your insightful and inspiring words. Now we shall be favored a special song by the trainees of the mobile phone hardware repairing mission batch. The stage is all yours. Oh, ever sing the song of peace from the twelve that by me it will bring release. Burdens will be lifted at a pressing so showers of great blessing or my heart will Sing to me of heaven, let me fully dream Of its golden glory, of its pearly gleam Sing to me when shadow of the evening fall Sing to me of heaven, sweetest song of all Sing to me of heaven as I walk along Dreaming of the comrades that so long have come In a fairer region among the angels so They are happy as they sing that old sweet song Sing to me of heaven, let me fall in dream Of his golden glory, of his pearly gleam Sing to me when shadow of the evening fall. Sing to me of heaven, sweetest song of all. Sing to me of heaven tenderly and low, till the shadows on me rise and swiftly go. When my heart is weary, when the day is low, Sing to me, O oh, heaven, sing the old sweet song. Sing to me, O oh, heaven, let me fall in dream of His golden glory, of His pearly gleam. Sing to me when shadow of the evening fall. Sing to me, O oh, heaven, sweetest song of all. <coughs> For a long time, I will try to uh, make the concluding remarks as short as possible. Uh, thank you, our chairperson, Ms. Narayana, the Bureau of Officer, for giving me the time. Uh, most respected, Sri Anthony Muji, NCS Secretary, Youth Resources 
and Sports Department, Government of Nagaland, and also the guest of honor for today, uh, respected director, Department of Youth Resources, Sri Chaton Sitiwa, Sekose, NCS, and his uh, officials and staff from programming to our stay today. I would very much say that it's very much in the ambit of the Department of Youth Resources to have such a skill program. One difference that they made was they stepped out of their comfort zones and brought this extra program, which most of us would be calling a burden, but they have brought this extra program on their backs to bring this. But the bolder move, I should say, which many departments have been implementing this PMKBY program since a lot of a long time back. Uh, it's the first time that they have brought in some uh, uh, something called one of the future skills, which is in the form of drone training as well. We had a lot of apprehensions when we brought in, but when we started advertising, I'm also happy to mention that more than 150 students have candidates have applied for uh, getting enrolled in this drone training program. So uh, that is one step to look forward to, sir, and uh, I think we should look forward to other uh, future skills as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the program. I would like to extend my gratitude to everyone who has graced this occasion. We have prepared a